Welcome! Today I'll be giving you a glimpse of the process behind my piece, Lady of May, a 10 by 20 inch painting created in ink and watercolor. This image is part of a series I'm working on called The Ladies of the Months. I started this series back in 2014 as a way to explore the birthstones and birth flowers for each month of the year. This series has also presented an opportunity to combine both my love of painting and for creating masks. For each painting of a lady, I've also been creating a matching mask made from carved and tooled leather. Research for Lady of May began with looking into the meaning and namesake of the month of May. May is purportedly named for the Greek goddess Maya, meaning the midwife, with the month also the time the Romans venerated Bona Dea, the good goddess. I focused my research on cultures of the Northern Hemisphere as they tend to celebrate similar seasons. For this series, I focus much on the themes of the shifting beauty of nature, which reflects itself in countless ways in the way that people celebrate holidays around the year. May Day, Beltane, and the May Queen traditions, among others, all inform the thematic image for Lady of May that was growing in my mind. The month of May conveys the start of summer, blooming flowers, the celebration of youth, and the height of our abundant life before the harvest and the cold of winter begin to creep in. In the end, I envisioned the Lady of May as a dancing, joyful young woman crowned with flowers, the May Queen who celebrates the height of summer. When designing the look of Lady of May, I knew I wanted to go with the theme of a dancer, which is evocative of the May Queen's role in celebrating youth and summer. I pulled from many sources, including Indian dancers and Japanese geisha, cultures who venerate the power of dance and the dancer as an instrument of the spirit, which fits Lady of May as an embodiment of the spirit of May. I also wanted to include fresh flowers which are so commonly associated with the May Queen's crown. I drew upon the vibrant flower crowns of Slavic festival wear and Indian brides for Lady of May's hair and wardrobe. With each lady, I tried to tie their birth flower into their wardrobe, Notice the Lily of the Valley imprint on her belts and the hawthorn in her ponytail and sash. The design on the trim of the dress on the right is indicative of the red berries that both the Lily of the Valley and hawthorn have. Fun flower fact, the Lily of the Valley berries are quite poisonous, while the hawthorn's flowers can actually be used to treat a number of ailments. With the figure and basic composition sorted out, I know how much space the lady will occupy in the painting and how much of the window will be viewable which will help me when designing the decorative window behind her. I focused the design's main area on the sides since the middle of the window would be covered, though I still decided to go a little overboard with detail on this one because I wanted to emulate an Indian mandala, which matched Lady of May's fashion themes. Again, we'll leave the valley and hawthorn birth flowers were incorporated into this design. With the window design, basic composition, and fashion of Lady of May figured out, it was time to bring it all together into a single drawing. I created a collage of reference photos to help give me a more grounded guideline to use for the line art. This collage included things like bits of scarves, flowers, hair, jewelry, all cobbled together to make something vaguely similar to the final look I'm going for. From this collage, I create a line art base that I carefully tweak to match my own imaginary elements. As for the composition, the ladies' wardrobe elements, window, and foreground flowers are so complex that I decided to go with a very simple background that implies the trailing ribbons of the maypole tradition. These ribbons also help reinforce the flow of her pose. Making the choice for what colors to use for these paintings has been one of the most challenging tasks for creating this series. If the colors are off, she might not represent her birthstone well. Lady of May needs to represent emerald but also, too much green in this composition will make it flat and uninteresting while not providing good focus and flow for a viewer. I did quick color flats in Photoshop to test out different options before I put paint to paper. It'd be far too easy to mess this up by skipping this step. Now enjoy a sped up time lapse of this piece in the making. This is hours of work condensed into about five minutes.
here we are at the finished piece. You can view the full painting and her accompanying mask online at nouveauladies.angelicshades.com. Prints, original paintings, and limited edition masks are also available in my online shop at the site. If you liked this video and want to learn more, check out my premium video tutorials which include additional footage, full step-by-step -step narration, and more in-depth instruction. You can watch the premium videos by supporting me via Patreon or purchasing via my online shop. Be sure to check out more of the Ladies of the Month series by keeping up with it at nouveauladies.angelicshades.com. Thanks for watching! Wishing you all inspiration!